My name is Jürgen Siebler. I'm the head of the endoscopy unit within the first medical clinic of the University Hospital of Erlangen. We treat about 5,000 patients in patients per year and do about 6,500 endoscopies per year. The using of C-arm in our daily routine has a quite high uh, standard because we use it for bouginage of esophageal stenosis and we use it also for performing ERCP. ERCP is the abbreviation for endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreaticography. It was developed in the 70s here in Erlangen and in Japan. We saw a 70-year-old patient with a carcinoma of the pancreas head with liver metastasis and the tumor in the pancreas head um, resulted in a stenosis of the distal common bile duct. As you see here in the right picture, with a distal stenosis and a really big um, common bile duct with more than 20 millimeters in diameter and uh, also the intrahepatic biliary system. We, we put a wire into the biliary system and made a bouginage, as you see here, the radiopac mark and um, you see here the wire inside the common bile duct. After this bouginage, we put a 10 French stand into the uh, common bile duct so the bile can flow through the stand into the duodenum. The quality of image is, uh, this is key factor for a successful treatment, especially in ERCP, because the distal stenosis is not very long, about five to maximum 10 millimeters. So you have really um, to have a really good picture and a good quality of image to see this small distance. And this system shows you an excellent quality. The structures into the bio system, these structures I have to see. And I have to see my endoscope too, of course. And I have to see my wire and I have to see my bouginage and to, to see the stand. And with this system, it, it works excellent. Compared to 20 years ago, we have much more obese patients in our hospital. And of course, you have to use a system which are able to have enough power to see the most interest structures you need for the exam. If you um, have a very difficult question to answer and to solve a small stenosis, for example, um, conventional C arms. Um, come to their limit. During the last two months, we have CEOs Alpha with us. We had uh, two or three uh, cases of real obese patients, patients with ERCP, where ERCP uh, are uh, done, and the resolution was fine, even in this very obese patient. The endoscopic uh, picture and image near the X-ray image is uh, really important for the success of the really difficult um, um, ERCP. So you can concentrate on the endoscopic view and in some cases it's uh, very important to also concentrate on the X-ray view. And um, here with this system they are really close together which uh, enables for you a more um, relaxed situation in really difficult situations. Using the touch screen of the remote control panel, I can um, motorize the C arm, um, which makes the uh, examination easier for me. The easy handling of the CUS Alpha is characterized by brake release at the top of the flat detector and the 
possibility to have a remote control, which enables the physician by touchscreen um, to make the most important movements I need for a real fast and high quality examination. Making lines um, during ERCP is not so really of a big need. It's um, more important in stenting of uh, esophageal structures for tumor stenosis, where you're not uh, able to put much contrast medium in it because the contrast medium flows away. And you have to be sure by X-ray and by your mark that your stent is not beside the tumor, proximal or distal the tumor, the position of the stent has to be in the middle of the tumor stenosis. And so the marks are very helpful in this case. There are two reasons of using the collimation. First of all, I can much more concentrate about the structures uh, which are really relevant for the successful treatment. And second, by using the collimation, I'm able to go down or, or bring as less as x-ray dose to me, to myself, to the patient and to the assistant personnel. The, the fixing of the collimation in this system, there's, in my opinion, you that there is the possibility to, to bring an asymmetric collimation uh, in this tool. The fixed C-arm systems, one of them we use in another room, our endoscopy unit, um, requires a higher dose compared to the um, CEOS alpha system and the quality of the image is comparable. For me as a gastroenterologist, two things are um, most important. First of all, the quality of image, CEOS alpha compared to a to a C arm in the pre CEOS alpha era has a, an excellent um, image quality and is very easy to handle for the physician. This is a real um, advantage of the CEOS alpha system.